so my tractor wouldn't start i check my ignition coil right here for the spark it's fine uh, i replaced the carburetor i put a new spark plug put a new air uh, fuel filter you can see my new carburetor there and a new fuel filter wouldn't even start with the starting fluid so the next thing would be just to take the valve cover off and see what's going on up there before i would get into the timing and taking this part and get into the crankshaft and all the ignition stuff finally i found the problem didn't want to open up the motor but oh my god for two days this tractor was driving me crazy i'm over a thousand hours on my beloved toro lx 425 and here is the problem i was cutting the lawn and all of a sudden my tractor stalled what happened is this thing is super loose and came off the valve the rocker that pushes on the valve loose so my i'm not sure in the intake or exhaust valve i believe that's the intake and this is the exhaust yeah so it's totally off so intake valve is not working it's not open up so that's why i'm not getting the fuel and so i put it back on with those half an inch bolt right there i'm not doing the valve adjustment i just right now what i'm doing is i'm going to put my uh valve cover back on and try to start the tractor and of course just uh for you run it for a few seconds and i'm gonna come back and redo the the valve uh gasket and adjust the valves because it's over a thousand hours and i haven't done anything as far as the valve adjustment and i guess you have to do look and of course i did try to start the motor with the starting fluid and as i was if i have a spark if i have a gas why wouldn't the motor start with the with the starting fluid and that was the the reason so the next thing and i'm not going to be it's not going to be included in this video it's i'll have to like i say quickly put the valve cover on i have to take this all back once it cools off and uh i have to put the new uh cover and i'll number one thing i'll have to adjust the valves there's plenty of videos uh, explaining how to adjust the valves and obviously my tractor has a lot of hours on it and i still believe it's a way better tractor than the craftsman even the comments on the previous video were these fanboys been fantasizing about their craftsmen just a quick quick summary number one thing beside the motors does they have the same motors the craftsman has the little stronger motor it has a way stiffer frame when you ride on this it feels stiff when i ride on that craftsman it feels every bump and twist okay second thing is a transmission doesn't have a stupid hydrostatic transmission that almost impossible to turn on it because you just keep pushing it forward like a torque steering uh this one turns and it's much quicker uh this cuts forward and backwards i believe it's five and a half or even faster it feels way faster my lawn on this one i can cut it in half the time that it's on the craftsman and i can go on but it's not worth my time because uh, my channel it's my effort it's totally about different things than proving the points i'm just up there sharing the information so like i say back back to the basics uh if the 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 motor doesn't start and you cover the basics before checking the timing inside going inside of this part of the motor take your valve cap 
iron the valve cover off and check for the valve. In my, in my case, it was the guide for the rocker that came loose and that's why my intake wasn't well wasn't working uh, and I guess it's a good thing to do the valve adjustments valve adjustments and uh, I know I have to do it with my diesel Mercedes a valve adjustment but haven't done so so that's it I bought my tractor and it's a brand new tractor because when I turn my ignition on it has 12.3 uh, it's a waltz i'm sorry 5.6 hours on it so it's over a thousand it's over a thousand hours right now so there you go